members of the family, other ladies and gentlemen, the members of Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter welcome your presence at this Ivy Memorial honoring Soror Rayburn Baskin Wilson, whom we now identify as an Ivy Beyond the Wall. As Soros of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, we pay tribute to honor the memory of Soror Rayburn, who has advanced farther into the joy and beauty of heaven and we are conscious of our deep and abiding sisterhood. We honor her in this loving tribute. As many of you know, Sara Rayburn is a wife, mom, sister, grandmother, and the beloved sister of Alpha Kappa Alpha International President, Dr. Glenda Baskin Glover. Amazed by her strength and love of family, I am honored to have this opportunity to introduce Dr. Glover as she joins us to bring greetings and reflections. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. That is love. Good evening to my loving Soros of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, hosted by Beta Alpha Omega Chapter, Sora Jane. Thank you as the outstanding bachelors. On behalf of the family members who are Soros of Alpha Kappa Alpha, we express our thanks to each of you. We express our thanks for the love and the warmth you have extended. You've been so supportive and have demonstrated that true meaning of sisterhood, that true love that I mentioned above that is referenced in 1 Corinthians. You're exemplifying what sisterhood actually means. So Ray is both a biological sister and a sorority sister. And each of you have proven that these two are essentially the same in this case. Thank you for your loving spirit, the spirit of Galatians that you have shown, the familiar verse that says, but the fruit of the spirit is love. Thank you for that love. The central component of our faith, Beta Alpha and Omega, we've always shared that special love, that special bond. And to all the Soros and Alpha Kappa Alpha who are tuned in today, I thank you for your love, your caring, your concern during this hour. May God bless you and keep you kindling our spirit of love. Thank you, Soros. Our faith in God and prayers undergird our ability to serve all mankind and carry forth the work of Alpha Kappa Alpha. The renew and refresh that God provides is best appreciated with prayer, music, and praise. At this time, we will be blessed with prayer from Annetta A. Hamilton, and immediately following, there will be a musical selection by Dorcas Kennebrew accompanied by Patrice Myers. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame, from everlasting thou art God, and endless, endless years the same. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for being our awesome God, for being our all in all, for being the one that we can lean and depend upon. Whatever the problem, whatever the situation, you have promised that you would never, never leave us nor forsake us. And so we give you all praise and all glory. Right now, dear Father, we thank you for the life and legacy of Sora Rayburn Baskin Wilson. We thank you, dear father, for allowing Sora Rayburn to sojourn here on this earth with us for a little while, for all that you allowed her to do in service while she was here. We thank you, dear father. And now, dear father, we pray, O oh Lord, your blessings upon her husband, her children, her grandchildren, her siblings, and all of her other friends 
loved ones and sorrows, we ask, O oh Lord, for your strength. We ask, O oh Lord, for your comfort and your help in the adjustments that must be made in the passing away of Sorah Rayburn. Dear Father, we know that you made the decision that she had taken care of everything that you wanted her to do. And so you called her home to give her rest, dear Father, from her labors so that there would be no more pain, no more suffering, and no more sorrow. You decided to give her a new home, a new dwelling place where she could rest in your loving arms. And so, dear Father, we give you all praise and all glory for being the God who does everything well. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. I think that I shall never know another love that fills me so. Dwells in my heart by night, by day, as does my love for a I think that I shall never feel where hearts are loyal, true, and deep. So pure I am at work and play. Of such are these the AKA. I think that when I come to die, there will be no need of fear or sigh. For if I Life holds me not, I've lived my During this Ivy Memorial, we would like to present a photo tribute from the chapter for our beloved Soror Rayburn Baskin Wilson. Immediately following, there will be three very special tributes that will be given by chapter members. The first will be from Misha Shaw Thomas, followed by Paula Carr Jackson. And the final tribute will be from Lachelle Vaughn who is chairman of the chapter's President's Council.
I shall never know. Another love that thrills me so. Sora Rayburn Baskin Wilson was the personification of love. She loved her family, her students, her friends, and her sorors. Anyone who had an encounter with her experienced that love firsthand. Her voice was calm, soft, and soothing. You immediately felt at ease and a part of her circle when you were in her presence. Her hugs were warm and genuine. I shared some of this story on social media. She and I shared a special bond. I had recently reactivated with Beta Epsilon Omega after being general for many years. With a large established chapter, it can be sometimes difficult to feel welcome and make connections when you are new. I became an officer under Sora Rayburn's administration as Basilis. Once she understood my level of commitment and integrity, she entrusted me to perform my duty of getting information to the chapter. By her instilling that trust in me, it allowed me to further develop my leadership skills and establish key relationships. That is what a servant leader does. They make those around them better. She was not only a leader, but a trusted friend. When she learned of my mother's illness and subsequent passing, she always had a word of encouragement to share with me. She and my mother also shared the same birthday, April 24th, so that was another link to bring us closer. She also loved my child as if she were a member of her family. I brought Michaela to meetings with me when she was younger, and she was always eager to serve Sora Rayburn. She was beyond thrilled to learn that Michaela became a soror and that she came through her beloved Beta Ta chapter. I never once heard Sora Rayburn complain about not feeling well. While she may have required some assistance at times, she was very independent and didn't want a fuss made over her. As she was an angel here on earth, she is now an angel in heaven. She has gained her reward. We will indeed miss her dearly as she had an indelible impact on every life she touched. For if she's been an AKA, life owes her naught, she's lived her day. It is my honor to reflect today about Sora Rayburn Baskin Wilson on behalf of Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Sora Rayburn is the third ninth president of our chapter and former president of our Sisters in Service Foundation. Sora Rayburn had a servant's heart and served the chapter in so many capacities. Graduate advisor, hospitality chairperson, Correspondence Chairperson, the Correspondence Secretary, Financial Secretary, Second Vice President and Fundraising Chairperson, First Vice President and Program Chairperson, and ascending to the position of President of Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter and its Sisters in Service Foundation, providing leadership to 517 chapter members. Sora Rayburn demonstrated leadership in so many ways, but the common thread that flowed through her spirit of service is that she recognized the importance of sisterhood in every capacity that she served. You see, the Sora Rayburn, for her, there were no little eyes and big views. Each Sora was important, and she had this gift of a caring heart in that if it mattered to you, it mattered to her because she values sisterhood as being there for one another. Not that everything was always peaches and cream. And as president, Sora Rayburn knew to take the good with the bad because we are a sisterhood. I can say personally about Sora Rayburn that if something happened to one of us, it happened to both of us. She was my Sora. More importantly, she was my sister. If I'm worried about something, she was worried too. If I'm angry about something, so are Ray Byrne was just as angry, if not angrier. We were a team, a tribe of two. And the big secret is that when so are Ray Byrne became physically ill, physically challenged, everybody thought that I was taking care of her when actually so are Ray Byrne was taking care of me emotionally because I knew 
that she always be there for me. It made my heart smile today when I re-listened to one of Sarah Rayburn's voicemail saying, Paula, this is Rayburn calling to check on you. Can't say I didn't call you back. For Sarah Rayburn, it was never about being noticed for her acts of kindness. It was simply a reflection of her generous spirit that guided everything she would do. She blessed our chapter with a caring heart, strong leadership. Sometimes all it takes is a single ray of sunshine to make everything seem better. For Betty Epsilon Omega, that ray of sunshine is a person who will forever live in our hearts. May the peace of the Lord be with the family, and to Hanadu Calvin, thank you for sharing that ray of sunshine with us. Good afternoon, Sora. On behalf of the Beta Epsilon Omega Vassalic Council, I want to take this opportunity to bring reflection for our 39th Vassalus, Sora Ray Vern Baskin Wilson. Sora Ray Vern was a stellar Vassalus. She served during a time of early 2000, 2012 to 2013. Her major initiatives and significant events included the presentation of the very first EAF Endowed Scholarship Breakfast. She established the chapter logo that you see behind me. She presented the Fashionetta for a chapter fundraising stellar event. She co-hosted the 81st Southeastern Regional Conference, sponsored a human trafficking summit, and held an emerging young leaders community summit. Young people were the heart of Sora Rayburn. She always wanted to have programs that included the young people. And therefore, it is so worthy that we, the Basley Council, provide for Sora Rayburn an EAF endowed scholarship from the Basley Council. And we're just elated to be able to do so. We will miss our friend. We will miss our former Basley. I told you that she co-chaired the 81st Southeastern Regional Conference. It reminded me of a time when I was chair of the Regional Conference. And like Sora Ray Vern, her Honeydew Calvin, always by her side. During that conference, Calvin was so much a Honeydew that he went way above and beyond, back and forth to the printer, providing things for the conference to the point that they asked if he was my husband. And of course the answer was yes. And we laughed until the day Sora River and passed. I called Calvin, I said, Calvin, do you remember during that regional conference when you were such a honeydew to all of us that I claimed you as my husband. Now, this was not a secret. I told Sora Ray Vern, and every time I saw her, I would say, how is Calvin? And she would say, your boyfriend is fine. We will miss Sora Ray Vern. We will miss her smile. We will miss her humor. We will miss her commitment to Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. So on behalf of the 19 Bastille Council members of Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter, we would like to offer condolences to the Wilson family, to our boyfriend, Calvin, and to our Soros, we will surely, surely miss Sora Ray Vern Baskin Wilson. Thank you. Whereas Sora Ray Vern Baskin Wilson, a silver Soror, made her transition to eternal rest on April 7th, 2021, and the members of Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated express our deepest sympathy to Sora Rayburn Wilson's family and friends. And whereas Sora Rayburn Baskin Wilson earned a BA degree from Lamoan Owen College in 1974 and an MS degree from the University of Memphis in 1979, whereas 
Sora Rayburn amassed a career of over 20 years in education with the Shelby County School System. After retiring, Sora Rayburn loved attending Sunday school, Women's Friday prayer group, and Bible study fellowship. And she started Wilson Printing and actively printed for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter. And whereas Sora Rayburn Baskin Wilson was initiated in Beta Tau Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated in 1972, and whereas Sora Rayburn rendered 49 years of perpetual service to her beloved sorority and served Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter, serving in various leadership positions, including 39th President of Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter. And whereas Sora Rayburn Baskin Wilson dwells among the AKA Angels and is now affectionately an Ivy beyond the wall, therefore, be it resolved that the members of Beta Epsilon Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated hereby issue this resolution on the 17th day of April, 2021, in recognition of the life and legacy of our dear Soror and faithful servant. We will forever cherish Rayburn Baskin Wilson's achievements and contributions to her family, sorority, and all those she served. Second Corinthians five and eight states, I say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. And we know my mother is in the presence of the Lord. My mother loved Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. From the time she was initiated in Beta Tau in 1972, to Beta Epsilon Omega, where she served as a former basilisk committee member and, co and committee chair. As our hymn states, we help each other for we know there's no other like our sisterhood. So on behalf of myself and my family, we thank you for your calls, texts, prayers, and any act of kindness that you have shown us during this difficult period. We ask that you continue to pray for us as we settle into our new normal. Again, thank you and we love you. Let us honor Sora Rayburn, not in memory alone, but with the continued work of Alpha Kappa Alpha and Beta Epsilon Omega chapter members. As a gift to the family, a resolution has been prepared by the chapter and Southeastern Regional Director Mitzi Deese Page. Sora Rayburn will live in our hearts. All that she held dear, we also cherish. We are united in love in Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. This concludes the Ivy Memorial for our Sora Rayburn Baskin Wilson. <laughs>